You are here because the outside world rejects you. Let's do it. All right, so we are back with a third video and the installment of uh, setting up these little uh, Zilla products that I had d recently discovered. Um, new to me, not new to, I guess, the reptile community on YouTube because everybody else is already doing them. So what? I'm going to do it myself. I have different ideals. We're going to get into this. Uh, this is the vertical unit, so this will be a, be a fun one to do. It's all the stuff on the inside. Um, yeah, the extra fluff and whatnot. Instructions. Um, never built one of these before, but who needs those? Let's get into this. So this is the tray, the base of the unit. Um, this one seems to have a fairly good uh, depth to the tray compared to the others, which is nice. Um, those are the rubber bands to help assemble the unit. I um, wasn't real for sure on that, but the more I worked with these units, uh, the more I'm convinced that that's, that's actually a pretty clever system that we've got going on. That's a long side panel. I didn't read instructions, so I don't know what it is. Uh, here is a shorter, smaller piece. Again, didn't read the instructions, but who needs them, right? We're just going to just wing it. This one's an important one. We're going to set that one aside right on top. That would be the first one we actually pay any attention to. Okay, so this is the door marked by uh, those slots up there. That beautiful piece of equipment. Um, another panel. It's large. I have no idea exactly where it's going to go. Probably a side. Yep, sides. Yep, this is where the door hinges in. Okay, we've seen some of this before. Beautiful, beautiful acrylic. Look at this. Look at this craftsmanship of this product. So now we have a, a general idea of what the pieces look like and still no clue exactly how they go together. Um, we are going to uh, try to put this stuff together. And I've learned something. Third video, I'm picking up. I go ahead and just dump all of my rubber bands and the, uh, and the tray there because it makes it a lot easier to get to them and to get this device out. Remember, I was struggling the last video. Yep, folks, I'm learning. Again, that pops in to the the top hole and you want it to be you want it to go in the side that has the uh, t the little sticker on there to identify that needs to be facing outwards so just kind of push it and wiggle it back and forth or, or rotate it back and forth to get it in there um, it is acrylic as well so just be careful not to break it um, I haven't broke one yet um, thankfully but they are made out of acrylic. Acrylic will break, so just use caution and uh, use use pressure, but use it firmly and uh, you know, kind of slow, and methodical. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Of course, the this struggle is still continuing, and that is the the removal of the film. Now, the film is important because it does protect the piece from being scratched. So you know, it is a necessary evil, but it's a battle that we have to fight every single time. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and peel the film, peel? peel the film. English is tough, folks. We're going to peel the film from all of our parts before we start assembling. So this is the door. I can tell by the little curve piece at the top with the two holes. Um, that's, we'll get into that later, but that's part of the uh, locking mechanism for to lock the door. Now this little piece is uh, is a new one for us. We haven't had a little little stub piece like that, uh, so that's a that's something new. Probably should read the instructions to to figure out exactly what that is, but nah, not here. What, what's the fun in that? Of course, that ain't gonna come back and bite me in the <laughs> later, right? So more. Just more of uh, me struggling with the film. Again, um, if you have tips on how to remove that a little bit easier, I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, by the time you see the first video of these three videos, I will have already recorded, edited, and uploaded them. So, 
but somebody will be new to this and they will appreciate the information you're going to share down in the comments below. And I'm certain these won't be the last that I deal with, so, you know, uh, maybe for a future video, if if, you're, uh, if your suggestion is, like, you know, groundbreaking, um, maybe perhaps I'll give you a shout-out. And, uh, you know, thank you publicly in a video. If that is an encouragement to uh, leave a comment to share, I don't know what else it is. But I'm going to keep just rattling on because we have yet one more panel. Uh, ooh, that was that was a good one, folks. That one, if only they all, if only they were all that easily done. But it did kind of tear right there because uh, I got a little excited and yanked on it too hard. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, so it tore in a wrong spot, and that one did the same. No biggie. That comes off though rather easily. And I'd, if I've been paying attention, and if you've been paying attention, we both should know that I believe that this is the last panel. So it's probably going to be the most complicated to get off, just because that's just what happens, right? Yep. Struggle, struggle. There we go. I guess we'll just have to... Oh, yes. There we go. We're moving right along. This is the third build. I should be an expert at this. But I'm not. So, okay, so uh, looks like I'm gonna start with this piece. Um, the two two holes, two tabs, just kind of fit together, and then obviously we're going to take the rubber bands and uh, try not to shoot them this time, and uh, just strap them on there. We shuffle around the parts to try to figure out what should go next. So I've got one tab down below. And, uh, yeah, this piece isn't going to quite work. Something's not exactly right. Then I realized, oh, this is probably the back. Because I've got three holes on the side and then one at the base. So, um, by reasoning of the way things line up. I figure out how this goes together. A little bit of a tongue sticking out there. That always helps you think and assemble things better. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. Thank me later. Again, just putting on the rubber bands. This one is a little bit more uh, flexible at this point, but I think it's just because it's a vertical one. So, and the way the pieces are balanced. So. So then we're going to do the side piece because we've learned from our mistakes. We're going to make certain that the vent is up. We're going to make certain that our door slots are on the right spot, facing the same direction on both sides. And, uh, you know, because what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? I don't know why I did that finger motion. Oh, probably because I was going to put the top on. Yeah, yep. Sometimes that helps uh, slide that stuff in. Uh, it's a little bit off screen, but we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I don't have view of the screen myself, so I can't see that I am way too high on the screen. But you get a general idea of what's going on. I'm just trying to uh, get my life together and get all those pieces to line up. There's what, like one, two, three, four, five, five different slots to uh, line up. No more than that. One, two, three, yeah, five. Seven. Yeah, two on the sides. Three, three, yeah. Number is also complicated. There we go. Attach the rubber bands. Uh, seemingly going together smoothly. I think I'm super smart. No problems. Didn't read instructions. It's going together. I mean, nothing, nothing can go wrong, right? This is just way too easy. Flip to the other side. Finish putting rubber bands on. Slightly out off screen. But I'm too lazy to edit that out. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here's the bottom piece. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this bottom piece. Why does it have this curve? I don't understand. Oh, 
Wait a minute, my tray has a curve. Damn it. Well, you know what? Let's see. Of course, we could just disassemble the whole thing and, uh, you know, start over from scratch. But, you know, what fun is in that? So, let's go ahead and at least take off the rubber bands at the base, because I have an ideal. An ideal that I do not promote. And, and if you follow in my footsteps, uh, just be careful that this was not the best way to, uh, to go about this. I could have broken the panels. Um, so, yeah, this was a bit rough. Because what I got to do is I got to turn that that tray around it's literally backwards so being stubborn and refusing to totally disassemble it I took a very risky route of kind of uh, just trying to pry it out just enough to get it to move and yeah it was a pretty tense few couple minutes but it did go together without breaking anything thankfully again not the best way, probably better just to take it apart. But, uh, you know, what fun would that be for entertainment value as far as the video goes? So, I'm not sure what that little, little tray mark is there for. Um, it probably says in the instructions uh, that I did not read. But either way, we're back on track. Now it's just a matter of uh, putting rubber bands back on everything that I just took them off of. And uh, almost dropping it on the floor. Don't do that. I advise against it. Rubber bands. Rubber bands. More rubber bands. I I do like this rubber band system. Um, I mentioned if you if you've seen the other videos, you know that I mentioned potentially just uh, using some type of like super glue, or there is uh, there is glue or a solvent specific for acrylic because this is this is acrylic um that will bond it better um but the ideal of the engineering was that um that you could take this apart when you weren't in using it when you weren't using it to store it that way so i don't think that's going to be an option i'm going to take advantage of so i'll probably eventually just permanently lock it in but so that is the the door is in place uh, I'm messing with the lock. have no idea that you could not see that I was messing with the lock. Um, again, a couple extra rubber bands, which seems to be, uh, seems what they do for you. Give you a couple extras. Um, I did forget one, apparently, because I just put one on. Look at that beautiful thing. Yes, beautiful. Nicely done. Of course, I'm going to go look at the camera and realize that the top of this thing was probably hard for you to see. So we're just going to take the camera off the mount, and there we go. Now we're going to get you a better view. So the locking mechanism just simply rotates into those two little uh, two little cavities there on the door. So that's what you do. You open it. You lift up just slightly to, to get it off those uh, little tabs, and then close it back. Rotate it around and then drop the tab into that second lower hole and boom there she is it's uh really impressed with this i really enjoyed it um i'm looking forward to building this one out there's a bunch of garbage on my shelf uh, i really should pay attention to what i'm doing but here we go setting up for the thumbnail and for me to just keep rattling on about what's going on in the video so and because I forgot, I wanted to show you super glue-ish stuff. And just simply, I use the thick stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just going to simply put it on the tabs, put it on the rubber bands. And just kind of really lock that in there. So this is the stuff I was using, um, or that I'm going to use. Uh, you have to watch a future video to know if it actually works pretty well. But it's a, it's a thick super glue. So it should do pretty good. So that is going to be it for the video. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking clear to the very end. Um, uh, in upcoming videos, we will actually build the habitats inside these units. Um, if that's something you would be interested in, in learning and exploring and um, enjoying in that fun of figuring that stuff out and being creative, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That's videos will be coming as soon as I can get them uploaded. And, uh, 
yeah, so if you stayed this long, I appreciate you. I appreciate you sticking around. And until next time, later.